Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. So in this video, as we are going to discuss about uh, the challenge number 3 in Core Java, challenge number 3. See here, this challenge is completely about logical code. Here it is we are using that if else block, if else block as well as nested if also, nested if. First of all, I will explain so about if block and else block. A simple syntax if is followed by we need to write the condition. If the condition is true, it is going to execute these statements. If the condition has failed without checking any condition directly, it will execute else statements. If else block means what? It depends on the condition or depends on the specified condition, we are going to execute a block of instructions, a single instruction, a single statement or more than one statement we are going to execute. And next here it is a one more concept is a nested if. So, what is that nested if means? Just defining if block, defining if block inside another if block, defining if block inside another if block. See here if the condition. If this condition is true depends on that, uh, here it is a one more if block execute that is any limitation means what? No limitation, here it is a condition, condition and it will execute. See second if block condition evaluates only if the first condition is a true and here it is a third condition checks only if the second condition is a true is nothing but inner if block execution is depends on the outer condition outer if block condition if outer condition is true so then only it will go and check that inner condition so this is what we called a nested if so based on this you can use if block i mean if else block as well as a nested if and here it is output should be like this output just read one integer using scanner class. Read an integer, an integer using scanner class. Hope you know how to create object for scanner class and where the scanner class is available. Scanner class is belongs to util package. We need to just import that util and how to create the object for scanner class like scanner. Say so anything scan equals to new scanner and we need to pass that keyboard object as an argument system dot in. So, this is and how to read one integer like int x is equals to scan dot there is one object level method is nothing but non static method to read one integer next int method returns an integer. So, this is just how to create object for scanner class and how to read one integer. So, this is not our concept next followed by the logic is our concept if if x value is odd just display the message just display the message hello display the message hello if it is even if x is even and and if x is in between in between 0 to 10 0 to 10 then display high. If it is in between 10 to 20, 10 to 20 display hello again, hello and suppose if it is greater than 20 display by. So, here first we need to read one integer through scanner class. After reading that integer just we are using if else block and nested if here it is we need to we need to write the logic for this one if the number is odd number directly display that hello if it is even number if it is even number and it is in between 0 to 10 high 10 to 20 is a hello and if it is greater than 20 just buy 
to display this one how to write that code hope you will complete the complete and comment the complete code ok so this is your challenge 3 in core java thank you